Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I want to demonstrate how I go about processing a night image in Lightroom. Often, when I look at photographers' night images, particularly their cityscapes, I notice they make one glaring mistake, and I want to talk about it in this video. We're going to be processing this image. It's an image of Buffalo, New York, and as you can see, it's taken at night. Now, it's, it's a little bit underexposed. So, first of all, what I would do is, in Lightroom, I would immediately go to lens corrections since this wasn't a mirrorless camera. This was an older image taken with my Nikon D800E. So I'll come in and, and enable the profile corrections and just make sure that it found the correct lens. Once I'm done there, I'll start processing tone. So because this image is a bit underexposed, I'll immediately go to exposure and open up exposure a bit. Then I'll come in, kind of rein in those highlights a little bit, open up the shadows a little bit. I'll get a white and black point, and this should be interesting with all the pointed light sources uh, as far as the white point is concerned. I'll hold in the option key on my Mac. It would be Alt key on a PC, and then click on whites, and you'll see most of the screen turn black, but I am getting those white pointed light sources kind of bleeding through. So I'll just kind of move this to the right, and really, because of that, because I have these white pointed light sources, it's really difficult to get a white point. So I just need to eyeball it. And the same thing for black. If I click there, you could see. I'll just bring it down, see what that looks like. Then I'll just eyeball it. I want to try to introduce a little bit of contrast into the image. Now, here is the mistake I often see photographers make particularly when they're doing night cityscapes. You'll notice that the image is just like a little bit yellow, all right? The white balance is almost always off when you're doing these cityscapes. And why it's difficult to set the white balance is there's a lot of different types of lights. Uh, for example, there's sodium vapor street lights, and those will be yellow. Uh, there's mercury vapor lights, those would be blue. Then there's HID lighting, and those could be really any color. They could be yellow, they could be blue, or they could be absolute white. So it's kind of difficult to find a perfect um, white balance for these types of images. What I suggest you do is go to your white balance dropdown in Lightroom and change it to tungsten. This will usually give you the best balance uh, as far as all those different types of lights that you'll encounter. For example, um, most of the newer car's headlights are some type of LED headlight, and those tend to be blue. So you look at, look at the cars up here on the through, and you'll see there's a lot of bluish lights. Uh, the sodium vapor street lights will be t tend to be yellow, so you can see that those seem to be represented uh, correctly. And then it's hard to tell like what they're lighting this building up with or this clock tower. So you really don't know if those would be more blue, more yellow. And what makes this especially hard is because when I was up on top of this building taking this photo, my eyes were kind of correcting the white balance, you know, automatically. So when I viewed this scene, everything just kind of looked white to me. It didn't look like I had yellow lights and blue lights and white lights and every kind of color in between. So it was rather difficult. So once you set that white balance to tungsten, it kind of gets you closest to what it should be. And then you could kind of adjust it from there. In this case, I'm going to take the temp and I'm going to make it a little cooler because those yellow lights were just a little bit overbearing. Let me go back to tungsten. And you can see that the, the yellow street lights are just a little bit too yellow. So I'm just going to bring that back a little bit and try to make the snow a little bit whiter. Now I got to be careful. I don't want to make those um, like the blue lights too blue so they dominate the frame. So we'll try that and see what that looks like. That looks all right. Now I kind of like it so far. Um, I think I'll go to the tone curve and I'm going to go to the point curve. I'm going to go to this drop down and I'll try some medium contrast. I often don't add too much contrast to an image, but I want to see what that looks like, and I really think that's a little bit too much. So we'll take that off, and I will then go to this 
slider and just move that to the right a little bit. Um, let's see what that looks like. Kind of mess around with the white and black point a little more. And so far, so good. Now, um, oops, I didn't want to do that. I think I'll go to Clarity. And I'll add some texture. And zooming in on it, uh, there is a tiny bit of noise. Um, if I go to Detail, some noise. It added a default amount of sharpening. I think I'll up that a little bit. Go back to the Basic tab, Add. I don't want to add the actual saturation because it'll really oversaturate the yellow lights. I would prefer to go to Vibrance and it won't affect the yellows quite as much. So I'll move that to the right a little bit, make it a bit more colorful. And I think I'm pretty much done. I'll go to the effects. I'll add a darker vignette by moving this to the left. And there is my night image. There's before. And there is after. There's before. There is after. Now what I like to do, particularly on these types of images, where there's just a lot of tonal range in the scene, a lot of dynamic range in the scene, is I'll step away from my computer for a while and then come back and look at it. And often I'll find myself like opening up shadows more or something like that. And maybe I will open up shadows a little more. And that's it. That is how I go about uh, processing a night image in Lightroom. And really the key is remember your white balance. Uh, if you switch it to, if you, and this is true too, I should add, if you're using an auto white balance in camera, uh, then definitely go to the drop down, switch it to tungsten, see what that looks like, and then you know move it from there. Do you want it a little cooler, a little warmer from that point? And that should give you the best possible white balance for that specific scene. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>